Ave Maria, Holy Grail. And I think it's about as close to a Churchill as you're going to get. I think it's actually Churchill. Hey, everybody, I'm okay, and this is Cigar Vlog. Okay, so Ave Maria is one of those H.E. Fernandez lines that uh, is supposed to be like, you know, an angel's kiss. It's just, it's, it's a cigar. I always found them to be a little overpriced for what they are. Hopefully this one will actually prove to be a little different. Focus camera. Camera, work with me. Thank you. Okay. A nice big old double cap on there. And a nice big crack because my humidification is garbage anymore. That's Colorado for you. Hot and bone dry. Or cold and bone dry. Until you get like, you know, three feet of snow in one dump. And as you can see, this seems to be a pretty big, hefty Connecticut, so hopefully this will actually have some flavor to it instead of being like an hour and a half of boredom. Right off the bat, no spice, clean tobacco. Never a whole lot of much else, really. <clears throat> it's a little bit of sweet, maybe, but otherwise, yeah, typical Connecticut. It's like blah. So, <clears throat> let me go ahead and get this down to the first inch, and hopefully this thing will wake up, because as it is, it's kind of a uh, little grass, a little grassy note. That just kind of hit me. Okay, yeah. So, yeah, clean tobacco, little grass, kind of hay-like flavor. Hopefully this will wake up a little bit and get a little bit more than just like hay and grass and like bupkis. So, anyway, back to the first inch. Alright, pretty solid engine. Notice the retrohale has kind of a sweet, toasty note to it. The actual mouth, on the other hand, kind of same as how it started. A little blah, kind of grassy, you know, a little bit of hay gunk kind of flavor. Basically tells me that it's 100% Connecticut. <clears throat> Excuse me, I was like clear my throat because for some reason I always like to get gagged big word. Why? I don't know. Anyway, I'm kind of hoping by the uh, middle of this cigar the flavors kind of pick up because, other, because otherwise this is going to be uh, easily, easily one of the more boring cigars I've had. Yeah, one of the more boring cigars I've had in a while. Excuse me, I was trying to figure out how to speak. <laughs> I keep trying to find something going on in this, but... Aside from just clean tobacco and like a touch of sweet, along with that grassy note, not really much else to say so far, so I'm hoping this builds. Anyway, I'm gonna get this down to the halfway point, yank the bands, and uh, hopefully it uh, is not gonna completely fall apart on me. Okay, so I just yanked the bands, and fortunately, they're the kind of band that is like not stuck to the wrapper. But uh, it's gonna be a little weird trying to figure out where the actual uh, midpoint of the cigar is because a little bit of the ash flopped off the end. I know about the bands; they're kind of this kind of foil and bows thing, and they're done well enough that it's kind of hard to figure out where the actual line is. So you can actually peel the band off because it's not very well apparent. Most cigar bands, uh, you'll have like a very de definitive line of where the band actually ends, so you can you know yank it off. But this one, it was blended in and you know well enough that it took me a second to figure out where to actually start picking at it. So uh, gotta make sure if that goes into the price of these things. Anyway, I'll get back to it when I think that halfway point is.
Okay, so just had a nice big ash flop, so I figured this is about as good as a halfway point as any. Be kind of noticing that um, there's a little bit of spice, like a little bit, like slight, like very light spice. So sweet and pretty much grassy notes. Otherwise, everything you get off of this is so mellow that it's kind of hard to notice anything. So I guess if you were sitting around with a decent whiskey, having a good conversation, this would be kind of a decent little companion cigar that, uh, well, little is kind of a figure term. I mean, this is like seven inches. <laughs> but, uh, you like a decent little companion cigar for a conversation, you know? It's not going to intrude on anything. You're just going to be sitting there, puffing away, blabbing, talking about whatever. And I think that's kind of the point of this one. It's that it's, uh, not... It's like crazy powerful when it comes to actual flavors. Everything's kind of muted, everything's real mellow. You get a pleasant little sweetness, a little grassiness, and it's a nice cigar to have just while you're doing something else. I don't know if it's necessarily worth the price they charge for them. Like I said, Ave Maria's tend to be a little overpriced for what they are. At least that's my take on it. What's over? Definitely not a bad cigar, just it's a Connecticut. It's not going to have a whole lot of oomph behind it. Well, flavor-wise. Time will tell if, it's in, if it ends up bending me over the toilet. Some of the things you have to kind of watch out for some of these uh, bigger cigars, and especially Connecticut's, they can be a little deceptive when it comes to the overall nicotine power. Hopefully that will not be the case. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and get this down to the nub and see if it wakes up a little bit. I figured this is as good a point to wrap it up as any. It's kind of funny, every time I come out here, there's always like a loud car or a loud motorcycle, every time. I don't know why. So, wrapping this up, I can honestly say I do not understand the appeal of a Connecticut Shade Cigar. Especially this one. There's always something about Ave Maria's that seems a little on the pretentious side. They seem just way overpriced for what they are. Flavors have been... Occasionally a little spicy, occasionally a subtle sweet, and a bit of a grassy hay-like note. Retro Hill has kind of a slightly sweet toastiness with the occasional floral note. But otherwise, there's just not a whole lot to say about this other than it's kind of just blah. If you can get these as like, you know, part of a bundle with something else, by all means knock yourself out, but I cannot recommend picking up most Connecticut's, but especially this one at full price, because I guarantee for a box of 10 you're going to be in like triple digit price tags. And that's, there's just something about Ave Maria is they always come off as being overpriced for what they are. They market them like, a, you know, like an angel's kiss, and they're just not. They're not bad, but they're not great. This one is actually kind of boring. And that's pretty much all I can say about it, it's just yeah, if you get it with a bundle with something else, have fun. But, uh, yeah, you can find for a similar price band, for a similar price range, a lot better. I don't know what it is about Alpha Maria. It's like it's the only AJ Fernandez line that's just ho hum. With like every one of them that I've had. Be it the Divinia, the Reconquista, the this. You just... They should be cool, they're not. I don't know why. It's just there's there's just there's nothing going on in them. I don't know if I can say that enough. It's just that it's just so blah that it's just, I can't justify you know wasting the money on it. Well, anyway, that's pretty much it for this one. Oh, towards the end it starts getting a little bitter, so I don't know what that's about. Anyway. That is officially pretty much everything I have to say about this. Um, yeah. For the price range, there's better out there. I don't know why these always have this weird thing of being kind of just ugh, nothing. But I guess that's kind of part of the course on I'll be ready to get. Anyway. I'm just kind of like making us, you know, pulling stuff out of the air for no reason. I don't really have much else to say about this other than 
Hit him with a bundle with something else, otherwise just pass. <laughs> so, that said, if you like this review, any other review, like, subscribe, leave a comment, let me know if you had a different experience. Beyond that, check out my Twitch stream, Sunday to Friday, 9, 10pm to 2am. If, if, <laughs> if you can't catch the live, they will end up on YouTube eventually. I have yet to actually put a link to my VOD channel. Note to self. Make link. Okay. Anyway, that's all I got for this one. I'll see you next time.